फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर टर्मिनल कनेक्शन इन विच वी लर्न हाउ टू डू स्टार कनेक्शन इन मोटर टर्मिनल ऑल्सो लर्न डेल्टा कनेक्शन एंड स्टार डेल्टा कनेक्शन सो लेट स्टार्ट वीडियो एंड यू कैन सी इन थ्री फेज इंडक्शन मोटर वी हैव टोटल सिक्स वायर्स ओके एंड टोटल थ्री वाइंडिंग्स ओके सो फर्स्ट वी फाइंड वाइंडिंग ऑफ दिस मोटर बाय मल्टीमीटर so first we select a multimeter on resistance range okay now we find continuity or resistance between coils so first we take continuity or resistance and its resistance is 1.2 ohm okay and also in other coil resistance should not come okay it's showing open it is showing open so resistance is 1.2 ohm so first note down it's a first winding okay now we find second winding so for second winding also we need to take resistance so take resistance and it's coming 1.2 ohm so resistance should be same of three windings so it's a second coil and it's third coil and resistance should be 1.2 ohm so resistance is okay if resistance is okay that means your motor is okay now we find three windings now we connect a six wire in this motor terminal in motor terminal first winding connecting in both terminal second winding connect here and third winding will connect here okay so first we connect first winding in this motor terminal after that we will learn star connection delta connection and star delta connection so first winding first coil connect here and second coil connect here okay so first winding can connect both wire here and also second winding connect in normal condition connects here primary side connect on primary side so connect here and second coil connect here so second coil connect in this motor terminal it's primary side and it's a secondary side okay now third coil connect here primary third coil primary connects here and secondary connects here okay so first we connect the three coil in this motor terminal now let's learn how to do star connection in this motor terminal so in a star connection all coil should get 220 voltage okay so in a star connection we just need to short primary side of the winding okay because in a star connection each coil will get 220 volts so just a short primary side by this connector because in a star connection each coil will get 220 volts so just we short by this connector of primary side of the winding and from secondary side of the winding we have total three wires which is coming from motor starter so these three wires coming from motor starter now each coil should get 220 volts so first we connect r phase here y phase and b phase because each winding will get 220 volt okay now let's see how each winding will get 220 volt in this star connection and i think connection should be connect on motor body okay now you can see connection is done star connection is done now we learn how each winding get 220 volt so so winding primary side is short by this connector and in secondary side we connect rybb power supply okay so shorting connector will work as a neutral connector and also we connect rybb power supply in secondary of the coil so each coil will get 220 volt ac in star connection okay in delta connection each coil should get 440 volt okay so first we remove this connector and also on motor name plate it's given which connection we should done with this motor so that motor efficiency will be high so in this motor it's also given delta connection should done okay now let's learn how to do delta connection with this motor terminal so for delta connection first we remove this connector and each winding or each coil will get 440 volt so let's learn how each coil will get 440 volt and in motor terminal you can see it's a first coil it's a second coil and it's a third coil or third winding okay now for delta connection just we connect one connector from this terminal to this terminal okay we will learn how each coil will get 440 volts so first coil connect here and second connector connect here and third connector and also we will connect rybb power supply which is coming from motor starter so r phase connects here 
Y phase connects here and B phase connected her terminal. We will learn how which coil or which winding will get 440 volt in delta connection. Also, we will learn how to check delta connection. It's okay or not okay. Okay, so from motor starter we connect R Y B power supply first coil here. So in this coil we connect R phase. Okay, and secondary side we connect to Y phase. So this winding will get 440 volt R phase and Y phase. Okay, and second coil here. So in second coil first we connect to Y phase and in secondary side we connect to B phase. So 440 connects in this coil and one coil is here, third coil is here. So in this coil we connect R phase and in this connect to B phase. So this coil also get 440 volt. Okay. So in delta connection each coil will get 440 volt. Okay. Now checking its delta okay and not okay. So just to check resistance of this delta connection and resistance should be same 1.2, 1.2 and 1.2 if resistance comes different that means you make delta connection is not okay if resistance is same that means your delta connection is okay now we will learn how to do a star delta connection in this motor terminal so in a star delta connection we have total six wires from motor starter three wires from main contactor and three wires from delta contactor now let's learn how each coil or each winding will get 440 volt in this star delta connection. Okay, so first we enter these three wires. Okay, these three wires from delta contactor and also three wire from main contactor. So total six wire comes from motor terminal, comes in motor terminal. So let's see how each coil or each winding get 440 volt. So as we know this coil this is first coil now you can see this is first coil so in this coil we need to get 440 volts so first we connect R phase here primary side and in secondary side we just need to connect Y phase or B phase just need to give 440 volt so better to connect Y phase from secondary side okay so you can see in first coil r phase and y phase so 440 connects here in this first winding okay and secondary winding these two terminals so in secondary coil first terminal we connect to y phase and other terminal we connect b phase so you can see in this secondary coil also y and b phase so 440 connects here okay and also in third coil so just we connect B phase and R phase in third coil. So in also third coil we will get 440 volt. Okay. So in a star delta connection each coil will get 440 volt. Okay. I hope you clear the concept of how to do motor terminal connection, star connection, delta connection and star delta connection. If you have any query please ask in comments box. For today's enough we will meet in next video. Thanks for watching.